everybody. Today in class, we worked on rational numbers that are found on the number line. Uh, rational numbers include integers, but they also have all of the decimals and fraction parts of the numbers that can be written in fraction form and their opposites as well as the whole integer numbers. So if we take this uh, situation, we've got a number line. And first of all, we need to take a look at the number line and find out what each segment of that number line is worth or equal to. So here is zero and here's one. So in between zero and one, I have all these tick marks. To find out how many equal spaces, that will give me what each of these tick marks is worth. So starting counting at z from zero, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So one is equal to 12 twelfths. So each one of these tick marks then would be worth 1 twelfth. So the value of each length is 1 twelfth. What number does point K represent? So if we, we know that it's smaller than one, greater than, greater than zero, so counting if they're all worth 1 twelfth, I can go through and I can say, all right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight twelfths. So K is represented at eight twelfths, but I look at eight twelfths and say, hmm, I know that I could also simplify that. I could divide them both by four. And if I divide eight by four, I get two. And 12 by four, I get three. So eight twelfths is also two thirds of the way through between zero and one. And then the next question said, what is the opposite of point K? So just like integers have opposites. So if I see that one is right here and its opposite would be negative one, our fractional portions are gonna be exactly the same thing, but again, on the opposite side to the left of zero. So when I start counting, the first tick mark to the left of zero is gonna be negative one twelfth, negative two twelfths, negative three twelfths, four, five, six, seven, eight. So negative eight twelfths. <clears throat> And so locating that 8 twelfths, we already did. We're going to call that point K. So if I wanted to take this and put it into a real world situation, maybe I would say um, the zero, our reference point might be Whitehall Middle School. And from Whitehall Middle School, if you walk 8 twelfths of a mile to the right, you would land at, say, the rec center. We'll call K the rec center. And if you walk from the Whitehall Middle School and you walk to the left eight tenths of a mile, you would land at the park, for instance. So just putting it into real world, it still works the same way. When you look at the number line, Fractions can also have opposite numbers. So you can see that we found out where 8 twelfths was. The opposite of 8 twelfths would be negative 8 twelfths and it's to the left of zero on a number line in between the integers zero and negative one. So hopefully this helps you with your example um, as you're finishing your homework tonight. Make a difference.